we'll mention a little bit about what we call off-sync programs. And because, because pregnancy rate focuses on an element of time, 21 day cycle is a time. It, it, it works out that the, the shorter the time, the, the quicker an animal is inseminated, the better the chance she has of having good reproduction. И чем быстрее мы осеменяем животных, тем больше у нас шансы иметь хорошее воспроизводство. And in the last 30 years, especially the last 20 years, последние 30 a lot of knowledge has come out about cattle reproduction. And this mostly has to do with the use of ultrasound and some other advanced techniques that have allowed researchers to do a lot of research. So the slide that's up here now is actually the slide is actually a, a, a representation of what is going on in a 21-day cycle. So, at day zero, um, we are just at ovulation, which is also where we are at 21 days. And what we're looking at is the activity on the ovaries. And what happens is there are small little um, what they call follicles. Uh, and there are, in every ovary, there are many, many, many thousands of these small little cells that can become a follicle. And eventually, out of this, one of these will become what they call dominant, or one of these will start to grow. And here around day four, it, it becomes fairly, fairly dominant. The size over here is in millimeters. So by day three or four, this is 10 millimeters or one centimeter in diameter. And then they will progress up. So that around day nine, they're about as full as they will get. And then what happens is the follicle just kind of dies. And it shrinks down and goes away. About day 10, or halfway through the cycle, there's a second, and in each of these lines is what's called a follicular wave. And 
in adult cows, they typically have two follicular waves per cycle. So the second follicular wave starts here at about day 10. Selection again occurs a few days later. And this follicle goes on. But instead of dying, it ovulates. Ovulation means it bursts open. The egg flows out. It gets into uh, an area called the fallopian tube in English. Okay. Goes through that tube and ends up in the uterus. Okay. Now, if somebody has inseminated this cow, then there is sperm in the uterus. And if the sperm and the egg get together successfully, the animal will become pregnant. If there is no sperm, and the animal does not get pregnant, and when the next cycle starts here, she will actually, uh, that, that much of the inside of the, uter the, of the uterus will kind of flow out a little bit and she will start another cycle. Now I'm showing one, the action of one other thing. This green line is actually a hormone that is called progesterone. And progesterone is produced by the follicle that has ovulated. Once the follicle has burst open, когда фолликула раскрывается and release the egg, и яйцеклетка освобождается, that area will fill up with blood. Это, ну, как сказать, это место будет заполнено кровью. The blood will, uh, we say, coagulate. It will get, become hard. Кровь свернется. And then it makes a change and other cells grow in there and it makes, uh, it turns into what is called a corpus luteum or yellow body. That, that thing, that corpus luteum, produces the drug the hormone progesterone. It puts it put it, it it is put into the blood. And it's this high level of progesterone that causes this follicle in the first wave to die обусловлен тем, что фолликулы в первой волне умирают. But notice in the second wave, но во второй волне, the amount of progesterone has dropped to almost nothing. Количество прогестерона опускается до нуля. So this follicle will then ovulate. И это фолликул будет овулировать. And after this follicle ovulates, a new corpus luteum will be in place. И после того, как этот фолликул поовулирует, Новый корпус лютиум будет сделан, появится. And notice after ovulation, it takes about four or maybe five days 
to start producing a significant amount of progesterone. Но я хочу отметить, что после овуляции потребуется 24 дня для того, чтобы снова необходимое количество прогестерона стало вырабатываться. We keep a high level for approximately two weeks. Он будет находиться на высоком уровне примерно две недели. And then the progesterone level goes back down low again. И потом уровень прогестерона опять упадет. So basically, for a week, a few days either side of ovulation, there's low progesterone. And for about two weeks, the progesterone level is high in the cow. Okay. So now we'll add one more drug to this. Добавим еще наркоты. And uh, there's there's um, there's another hormone called luteinizing hormone. Другой гормон, который называется Okay. Which shoots up very high and comes back down. And it will cause the um or no. It, there's a there's a prostaglandin which will shoot up high and come back down. It'll cause the corpus luteum to go away and allow this thing to ovulate. Um, забудь про тот лютеиновый гормон, это простаглондин. Очень быстро поднимется на высокий уровень, и он будет служить причиной тому, что корпус лютеум... Желтое вот, тело, да. Да, желтое, желтое, желтое тело откроется. Okay. Откроется. And we actually are dealing now with two inject... At this point, we, we brought up two names of injectable drugs which are used in the off-sync program. The first drug is called prostaglandin. And prostaglandin has one activity in the cow. Prostaglandin has one activity that it does in the cow. If there is a corpus luteum, a CL there, that is producing, prosta, producing progesterone, prostaglandin will kill it. Если uh, желтое тело будет производить прогестерон, простеглондин убьет его. So it causes it to just vanish. Это причина, чтобы он уходил, вымывался. Okay. The second drug is called GNRH. Следующий гормон это GNRH. Which actually stand for Gonadotrophin-releasing hormone. Gonadotrophin-освобождающий okay. гормон. And GnRH actually has two functions. И GnRH имеет две функции. In in the cow. Второе. If the cow is sitting in this sort of a state with very small, undeveloped follicles, it will cause если корова находится в состоянии, что у нее пока много маленьких разъемных фолликул, Дженни Рейдж заставляет их начинать расти. Он стартует на первую волну. If there is no, это истропан по-русски. If there is no progesterone. Если здесь нет прогестерона, another is prostaglandin has killed the CL. Простаглондин убивает желтое тело. It will produce luteinizing hormone, which will cause, I mean, it will produce ovulation and cause this thing to ovulate. 
it causes the follicle to actually Это burst and to go ahead and послужит причиной овуляции, чтобы яйцеклетки стали выходить. Mm -hmm. So it is by manipulating these two drugs that an off-sync program works. Off -sync now if you want to get really complicated, you can look at things like this. <laughs> but I'm not going to worry about that. Okay, let's keep working. So I'm going to keep life a little bit more simple. Он попробует сделать нашу жизнь немного попроще. So, the gray area in this line means that there's no follicles available during this time to ovulate or to become fertile. Uh, серые отрезки в этой линии показывают о том, когда животные не овулируют. So notice here that from about day zero to day three, there's no follicles that are possible to become fertile. С нулевого по третий день нет ни одной фолликулы, которая могла бы оплодотвориться. And notice in the center of the of the of the cycle, also there is a time when this follicle is dead and the new follicles haven't started. There's about a four-day, a four- or five-day cycle here, where the animal has no follicles to ovulate. Here and here, we have an ovulatory follicle. So if here at day six, as an example, если здесь, например, на шестой день, we give prostaglandin, мы дадим простаглядинчику, we will kill the follicle, мы, I mean, the kill the CL, мы убьем желтое тело, progesterone will fall, прогестерон упадет, and this follicle, instead of dying and going away, will go ahead and ovulate. И эта фолликул вместо того, чтобы умереть и уйти, начнет овулировать. Если туда залить немного спермочки, то она забеременеет и мы получим стерильность. At day 10, с другой стороны, если мы шурнем простаглантином на десятый день, the corpus luteum will go away. Желтое тело уйдет, but there's no follicle there to breed. Но не оставит никаких фолликулов, кого бы осеменить. And so, really, what we do after that is useless. И все, что мы до этого делали, окажется бесполезным. An ovulatory follicle doesn't start here until about you no know, day 13, day 14, something like that. So, prostaglandin kills the CL and stops progesterone production. Prostaglandin убивает желтое тело и останавливает производство прогестерона, выброс прогестерона. Uh, GnRH will do two things. It will, it will do what we call recruitment. It takes some of these very, very small cells and start selection. So it'll start uh, a follicle towards development. Релиз гормон нанимает вот эти маленькие фолликулы, маленькие клеточки для того, чтобы они росли и овулировали. And if there is a follicle that is ready to ovulate, it will cause that follicle to ovulate. И если фолликул готова овулировать, он является причиной того, чтобы она овулировала. That's the background of what is going on. Ну, вот так вот все просто устроено. The, the other thing to understand about the corpus luteum is... Другая вещь, которую мы должны понимать о... That, that if sperm gets into the egg and the animal becomes pregnant, 
если сперма попадает в яйцеклетку и она становится стильной, that then becomes what is called an embryo. Там начинает развиваться эмбриончик. And the cells start multiplying. И клетки начинают делиться. And the embryo goes, lies against the wall of the uterus. И эмбрион приклеивается к стенкам матки. And the first thing that it develops is a placenta, which starts attaching to the uterus. И первое, что там развивается, это плацента, которая присоединяется к стенкам матки. As soon as that starts happening, и как только это у нас произойдет, that shuts down the production of prostaglandin in the cow. Это останавливает производство простеглондина, выработку простеглондина в корове. And that corpus luteum stays there. И желтое тело, оставшееся здесь, producing progesterone, производит прогестерон, and maintains the pregnancy of the cat. Maintains that pregnancy. И обслуживает стильность. If somebody gives a shot of prostaglandin at that time, если кто-то шурнет простеглондина в это время, the corpus luteum will die. Желтое тело умрет, and the fetus will abort. И корова абортирует. Okay. And that will occur up to about five months of gestation for the first 150 days. И это занимает примерно 150 первые пять месяцев, 120 150 дней. After 150 days, после 150 дня, other factors from the uterus maintain the pregnancy. Другие факторы матки, другие процессы в матке обслуживают стельность, продолжают развивать стельность. And the corpus luteum stops having any function. И желтое тело не имеет никакого смысла. So if you give a shot of prostaglandin to a seven-month cow, seven-month pregnant cow, если ты шумнешь простаглондин на животное, которое стильное семь месяцев, it will not cause an abortion. Ни фига не случится и не будет аборта. Okay, but very early on, но очень очень рано, it's guaranteed to cause an abortion. Гарантирует тебе, что животное обортет. So we have to be very careful with prostaglandin. Мы должны быть очень аккуратны с простаглондином. Both drugs are absolutely necessary for use in the Opsync program. Оба гормона очень необходимы для программы Opsync. But the dangerous one is prostaglandin. Но самый из них опасный простаглондин. Because it can abort cows. Потому что он заставляет абортировать.